Well, hello then, a do up or all well. Now is our evil, insanely Suella Braverman really that popular within the Tory MPs and backbenchers, I suppose? Now, the reason why I ask is because of this little exchange between Conservative MP for North, Forest, West, Sir Desmond Swain and Conservative Minister for Horsham, Jeremy Quinn. Now, listen to what the first thing our Labour MP for Exeter, Ben Bradshaw, had to say after the exchange. Sir Desmond Swain. Last week, the former Home, the Home Secretary's sharing of a parla draft parliamentary answer barely got a mention. They were all over it because this was a damaging policy row with the Prime Minister's subordinate. She lost her Home Secretary. Why does he think that's changed? I, I, the, my, uh, uh, the, the former Prime Minister... Uh, lost her Home Secretary because the Home Secretary recognised she had made a mistake. Uh, she accepted that mistake and she offered to resign and that resignation was accepted. I don't think that means that a mistake should hang over someone for the rest of their uh, career. There is the opportunity for redemption and the Prime Minister has decided that that would be a, an appropriate appointment. I know he is working hard with the Home Secretary on the immense challenges that we face. Ben Bradshaw. It's notable how much support the Home Secretary has on the benches opposite. Uh, she did immense damage. She did immense damage in her previous brief tenure, tenure in the job to our relations with India, with her comments about Indian visitors overstaying their visas. The consequence of which means that now the British people are the only people in Europe who don't have access to e-visas to visit India. That's doing great damage to our tourism sector and jeopardising the travel plans of thousands of British families. Would he use his good offices, please, in the Cabinet Office to bang heads together in government, get this sorted out and try to repair the damage the Home Secretary did when she was in the job last time? Mr Speaker, our relationship with, with India is clearly important. I know the Honourable Gentleman, right Honourable Gentleman would not expect me to go into detail about that, and I note from the ticker that we have uh, a question to follow. I'm sure he'll be making that, uh, using that opportunity to make the points that he is making today. Now, clearly, our Jeremy Quinn didn't expect that question from our regular loan, Sir Desmond Swain, with the way he stammered and, you know, got caught on the hop, hop and just stammered and ermed and uh, um, um, looked rather sheepish. And I have to admit, neither did I. I've had to play it back a good number of occasions just to make sure I heard it correctly because when I heard Desmond Na Swain's name called out, I was waiting for some ridiculous question about... I remember a similar situation happened to a Labour minister in 1446 or something like that. And because of that, two wrongs make what happened on Tuesday all right. And there's nothing to see here. Just more party politics from the opposition. <laughs> now you may scoff. But before that, Sir Bernard Jenkins, who I thought really should know better, did something like that similar by saying that just because Tony Blair did something similar, that means two wrongs make it right. Sir Bernard Jack. Can I remind my right honourable friend um, that I recall that uh, Tony Blair had to remove one of his very senior and trusted ministers for a breach of the ministerial code and later reappointed him Success. to the government. Um, and and, and uh, I, I think what, we, what the public will respect is the fact that we have a system that holds ministers accountable for breaches of the code, um, but that there is, there is learning from mistakes and not just blame. And I can vouch for the highest integrity of my right honourable friend, the Home Secretary. Um, I, 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 don't, I, don't, I don't blame the opposition for one minute for doing their job and for probing this matter because matters of national security are extremely important, uh, but can I give my confidence to the government they've acted proportionately in this matter? Yeah, yeah. Um... And it was just rather pathetic question to bring up. He just looked completely stupid. You know, just because Tony Blair did it, oh, it's all right then. You know, nothing to see you. Idiots. But anyway, what do you guys think? Leave your comments below. But anyway, do hope you enjoy the video. And until the next time, I shall bid you farewell and take care.